BetterHelp is a good litmus test to find YouTubers that actually do research into their sponsors. Anyone remember the buy a tree to become a lord in Scotland? They seriously got like every other YouTuber to run ads for them. I'm out of the loop, is it a good sign or a bad one? Most YouTube sponsors you see loads of are likely below average. Gotta spend all that money on advertising instead of the product after all. For a non-American better help felt a little too close to something you should be getting recommended your doctor rather than a YouTuber about. Most YouTubers don't care which sponsors they pick up, and frankly, with the amount they get paid, I don't blame them. It sucks, but the solution is to use your own judgment to decide whether or not something is worth getting. That way, the only losers are the crappy companies like BetterHelp dishing out five figures for no return. And Manscaped. And basically any VPN. And Raid Shadow Legends. Come to think of it, Louis Rossman is the only YouTuber I've ever watched who appears to do honest, ethical paid product reviews. If I wouldn't use it in my own repair shop, I wouldn't try to sell it to you guys. Anyone remember when and Reardon from How To Cook That, a channel that regularly talked about dodgy YouTube practices and debunked dangerous life hacks shitty products took a sponsorship deal from Timu? Deleted the vid but never acknowledged or responded to the backlash. That was a letdown. Do people actually watch the sponsor segments? I've always just skipped those, who wants to watch that shit? And furthermore, do people actually consider whether or not a sponsor is any good based solely on what a paid YouTuber is saying about them? Behind the Bastards has talked about how they don't get a lot of say in what ads they have to run. Robert is still obligated to read print for better help, despite being well aware of how shit they are. Best he can do is mock his sponsors when he kicks to ads. A a lot of sponsorship comes from companies like Stitcher. There are also usually not clauses anymore where the sponsored can't badmouth the service off show. I have definitely heard hosts of podcasts talk shit about better help off air. And if they fight back by deleting comments who mention that better help is a harmful scam and keep taking their money that's a really good way to know that they don't care about their audience's mental health or data that BH sells. Like, they're basically just saying you should spend hundreds of dollars just to a stranger who will trigger your past eating disorders or try to convert you into being straight and or CIS. I don't particularly care what products they advertise though. I'm not buying any of it. One of the YouTube channels I subscribed to had a TMU plug comment section was rightly vicious. Dr. Becky is still shilling for better help while hundreds of viewers leave comments complaining about it on every video of hers for months. I finally pulled all my support and stopped watching her content. Some channels just need the sponsorship revenue. Let me guess, freeze I? Look into the whole cast media situation. This is the one thing I can't get behind with cinema therapy. I love them so much, but they even doubled down on using BetterHelp as a sponsor. Ouch, I thought Glenn Howerton knew it all medically. On a semi-related note, I think Blue Chew using young adults to market to teens and young adults is super weird. If you can get it up naturally, you shouldn't take any trendy boner medicine at all. They should market to a much older demographic. I'm glad we're asking more of them but how is it a surprise that people will promote anything for money? TV, radio, the overall internet, etc., has always worked like this. I don't know why I would believe a YouTuber more than any TV show host. I have not seen ANY YouTube sponsorship or advertising that carries any credibility in my mind. I especially hate certain popular YouTubers that do really crap jobs of telling the audience exactly how much of whatever service of product they are showcasing or reviewing is actually sponsored. Now that I think about it, I'm much more influenced by podcast sponsorship and advertising, but even so, there is a lot of low-quality crap out there. Cinema Sims use it as a sponsor, I'm sure the guys mean well too. Odd that god-awful movies and the scathing atheist podcasts hosted by some frighteningly smart and principled people still advertise better help. 
I follow a pretty good Venezuelan YouTuber, he can advertise whatever he wants and they could pay like shit, but the USDs to VES convert ion is exorbitant. I am still considering using it. I use BetterHelp and my therapist is amazing, just like my former one. The app sucks, but that's my only complaint. I can't think of a single YouTuber that didn't at one point promote them, it's very disappointing. That's why I wouldn't sign up for any YouTuber recommendations. Unless it's directly tied to them, most of the time they turn out to be shady. Louis Rossman and Bruce Ethabos are one of the only few people who do honest sponsorships nowadays. Who watches the sponsor part anyway? Who gives a fuck, go get paid. It's all skippable anyway lol. Ruined best ever food review show for me. 100 agree. I was mad disappointed to see Death Battle plug them. Listen I know what a shitty company better help is, but if they came to me offering 8k for a 2 minute ad read you bet your ass I'm taking the bag. Sponsor block is a thing. Tired of being marketed to in general. Yeah my sister is a therapist who used to work for better help, she says it's probably the worst form of therapy possible, as it's weirdly anonymous, and just hard to work with. Uhu. Thanks, didn't know BetterHelp was a scam, thank you up for posting and commenters, I see YouTubers talk about BetterHelp all the time and did not know. If I were a YouTuber I'd get the bag. It's your fault if you buy advertised products. A good litmus test is if YouTubers have ads on their videos at all. If there is a pre-roll and two mid-roll ads on a 10-minute video with 30 seconds of content, you're not worth my time. Also they support Israel, it's a Zionist company. This company is boycotted by Palestinians and Palestinian supporters worldwide. Unfortunately Smosh and Anthony Padilla both take them as a sponsor. I always wonder about Arab, I watched an honest review that said they didn't like it but they could see people who would, as someone who likes water for water it's not for me, but do all these YouTubers actually enjoy the product? I would have thought it would have been all those people promoting the Scottish land titles since it was clearly fraudulent at face value without any investigation needed whatsoever. I love how Tom Scar goes overboard with his Surfshark VPN ads. And fucking Arab I swear to god it's like I'm the only person that remembers those infomercials for kids with the cups that smell like fruit to trick them into drinking more water. It's the same thing. It's just a scented water bottle and it's being marketed as some luxury health product. A lot of them don't have control over that, if they're part of an organization. If they have a parent organization of some kind they contract out to a third party group and that group would be responsible for what advertisements they do. They should rebrand as there's better help. Jack's films is a tricky thing cause it feels like he got trapped in a contract he can't talk about. He's good at responding to criticism and no way he doesn't notice the vocal community against better help. Basically none of them, then. If you're a leftist YouTuber and you shill out right financial scams and give us info about your mental health so we can sell it to Facebook ads predatory therapy, you clearly have no actual principles whatsoever. Stick to screeching about Nebula. Honestly at this point if they run ads on YouTube they're a scam. This video is brew. 10s10s10s10s. Why would I care about who sponsors them? They make most of their money from ads. The only time I really care is when their target audience is children. This is a Reddit post if I ever seen one. I'm looking at you yes theory. Along with HelloFresh and Raycon. Oh no, Action Lab and Slow Mo guys have failed the litmus test. Oh no, somebody tell Conan or tell Sona.